Hi guys and welcome to Painting with Mood. Today we are going to paint the um the game Smile for Me, which is a very simplistic first person game. Uh, basically, you are this first person and you're looking at at a first person perspective. Uh, you got you have like a place which is like a, a floor and then there's some stairs down to a downstairs. And then there's a little bit of a carnival at one point, and then there's a little tunnel, and then a lounge here. And so basically, you you have very simple mechanics. You're you're walking. This is your room. You're walking up the rooms, and then there's people standing there, and you go and you talk to them, and they give you a quest of, to do something. Uh, and then basically, you you're you're a little bit of an errand person who goes around and runs and do whatever they want you to do. And then um, when you have finished it, the person, instead of being frowned, they, be Oops, shit, that was wrong. they become happy. So basically that is the base of the game. Um, it also means that when you, uh, as a person, um, when you do things, they're, they're very simplistic things. Um, for example, you're going to go grab something. You're going to use an item to gra get another item, for example. Um, there's one quest uh, where, where you go and you grab a megaphone and, and then you use this megaphone to make sure that everyone hears whatever the person's talking, for example, and like things, things like that. Um, it's, it's, it's extremely simple in that way. The, the mechanics is extremely simple. Um, WASD to walk around, use your mouse button to click and then to pick up or move items, for example. And so it, it, it's really simple. Um, the story, I think, it, it's more of the focus of this game. Um, for me, the story was not super interested, but I, I don't see it as a bad story either. It could have been, like, there's always possibilities to make a lot more depth into stories and whatnot, but I don't think that the game itself um, was did a bad... Like, it, I, I think that the game did a decent job of you know, making an interesting story because throughout this game when you're running around you're going to find some pieces of uh, kind of notes that's going to tell you a, a little bit of why everything has happened here um which i feel is, is kind of nice to get a little bit more depth to to the characters and to understand a little bit better and when you're talking to all of these 22 characters that you have in this game you're going to get to know them a little bit better and you're going to get a, a better understanding of them um, and you're going to try to make them happy, which I kind of like. I like being able to make people happy. So that was actually really good. Um, this game got a whooping 5 out of 10 uh, based on what type of game it is, uh, the mechanics and the story. And it's not a bad game itself. It's not a good game itself. I think people who like uh, games, simple games with not a much advanced uh, mechanics could enjoy this one if they like a little bit of puzzle games so yeah some of the puzzles are slightly difficult to understand and figure out because there's not complete logic behind all of them but in the end i think you're gonna be able to to solve it or look at a walkthrough <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye thank you so much for watching my video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you didn't enjoy it then well you're just gonna have to watch me dance awkwardly once again